see me because I'm in the lobby. Hi everyone! It's been a while since we've been on. Bear with me here. Let's see here. Hi everyone! Do you want a treat treat? He always wants a treat treat. <laughs> My gosh! Bear with me one second. He's just looking. <laughs> I'm gonna move this over here. Here. Love it though. I love it. Hi everyone. He's just checking it out right now. So he does tend to get a little cranky and not quite himself. So he's looking a little rough on the edges today. He makes my day every time I see him. Oh, that's so sweet, Jill. Hopefully everyone's doing great. I'm a bird owner myself. Oh, I missed it. Hi, Carol, Maria, Jamie Land. That's been a while. So Kiwi is just a little, uh -uh. now he's eating the wall. No biting it. Bear with me one second here. Let's see if I can put this over here. The lighting's a little off. All right. Hi, Tamara. I can't believe you're doing a live. It's been so long. I've missed you guys. I know, right? It's been so long. He just hasn't been quite himself, so it was a little difficult. Um, yeah. When they go through their molding stage, they're very cranky. They're tired. They're very irritable. So he's just been a little, uh, now you can see he's trying to eat the wall. No, thank you. Come here. Don't you come say hi, everyone? Come here. Come say hi. Say hi. Oh, come oh geez. How do you make it so that kiwi goes on your hand? Oh, it's a lot of a lot of patience. So every time that he does go on your hand, give him a little tiny treat. And so you can start with with that. It was like a little bit of a bribe, basically bribing him. He is okay. I did, well, Kiwi did basically. So we finally got a million YouTube subscribers. So I thank all of you for all of that. That is amazing. He is just kind of checking it out right now. If I lay it down, he loves it. I showed it to him once. You guys might have seen that video. But do you want to take a peek at it? Do you want to take a look? Okay. Take a peek. You say hi. I'll pull, I'll pull. Wow, what is it? Yes, is that yours? Is that yours? <laughs> You're being a good baby. What's that? Do you want a treat? You do? You want a treat treat? Well, let's give you a treat treat. Can you show everyone that you can twirl? Good. Can you say hi to everyone? Okay. And high five. Good boy. Oh, great job. So right now his favorite treat is almonds. He absolutely loves them. Absolutely love so. So yeah, he'll pretty much do anything for an almond right now. Is it glitchy? Oh. Am I the only one that Oh here I'll bear with me one second, guys. I am from Nova Scotia, Canada. No glitches. Okay, so just maybe for some people. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see how far away. So I'm just gonna get that photo. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, so I did. Um, 
if you see on the chat there, I put a coupon code for $3 off if anyone is going to place an order for some Kiwi merch. Kiwi is three years old. It goes through a molt once a year. So basically, you're being <laughs> bad. You're so cute. Goes through a molt once a year. So all of his old feathers are coming out and he is growing new feathers. So as his old feathers are coming out, I'm, you're not going to like this one bit, but excuse me. As his old feathers come out, you can see, they're so pretty. I've been putting, making um, custom things with his feathers um, from epoxy resin. So I had put some up like keychains and just a bunch of little different things, necklaces and stuff. So I'm making a bunch now with his feathers and it's cute. I love it. Is that yours? Oh, that, he says that's mine. Nobody's getting that one. No, no one. I want to hear you say this. <laughs> you have a green one. How did you train him to talk? Basically, I talked to him all the time. All, when he was little, I literally talked to him as if he knew everything that I was saying and understanding, and he eventually just caught on. So he does say a lot more than what I post on it's Cranky. And <laughs> yes, you're cranky. You are. So he's, yeah. But just repeating your words and just talking to him. And then you just picked up on the ones. Like, I I love when he says, I love you. I got him when he was two months old. I, how did I get Kiwi? I went on a Facebook group um, for Canadians that have birds. And there's some people on there that had, um, um, like, just a private birds that they had. and. <laughs> just getting distracted. And so I messaged them and um, basically an Indian ringneck is not a great first time bird owner. They're a lot of work. And so I got screened basically, got to ask a lot of questions and see if I was the right fit because he is, he's a lot of work. He's like a three year old for the, for the next 25 to 30 years. So he's like, what? Christina, my hubby's Larry says hi. Hello. We can't hear you. Oh. So nobody. So nobody can hear. Oh my God, I have a blue one, please. Could you say hi? Hello, cat. Oh my, oh. Is there sound or am I? Uh... Can hear you loud. Oh, you can hear me loud and clear. Okay, good. All right, awesome. Come here, come on. Okay, great, thanks guys. I'm trying to read as many comments as I can. So if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy. No, it's been glitchy throughout cutting out. Oh, okay, because I am in the cabin. So it's probably just away from the internet. Kiwi's getting into a bunch of stuff that he shouldn't be. Come here. Come here. Come here with me, guys. This here. So this is this little travel cage. So if I'm going to go camping or anything like that, um, or for drives, I just put him in this and he comes for drives with me. Do you want to treat? Come on. Oh, thank you. Kiss, kiss, kiwi, moi. Hi, and thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm actually going to take, I'm going to get him a bunch of new toys. What made you want to burn? first bird was Moscow. Oh, Moscow. Wow. They're beautiful. Well, um, one day I found a budgie, um, hanging onto my window at my 
old place and I had no idea how to do anything. I didn't know anything really about birds. And so I got, I got him. I tried to find the owners posting everywhere. Couldn't No, I kept him. So I kept him and I'm like, Oh, I love this. So I'll get another one. So I rescued a cockatiel and they both passed away. So I waited, if there are a lot of work. So I waited about five, five years or so. And then I was like, yeah, I, I want to do this again. I'm going to look into it. And then I seen him. I couldn't handle it. I love it. I love Kiwi. I know me too. Hi from India. Ooh, hello. Montana. Hello, hello. Um, oh, you can't make anything out. Maybe if I got off the Wi-Fi. Is it for everyone? Is it glitchy? If I maybe went off my data, it might be better. I live in Canada. South Africa. Really? Wow, it's so crazy. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so we're going to go to the pet store today. And we're going to get Kiwi to pick out his own toys. Kiwi is three years old. Let's see here. You say hi. You say hi to everyone. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So I'll see if he wants to come up. I don't know if you guys can see his feathers. They're pin feathers right now. Um, he can't reach his head to preen them and and fix himself up and he's not tolerating me to give him scratches right now so he's a little on the cranky side so he just looks a little rough right now are you a little rough <gasps> oh what was it Hi, Lucy. We are back. Yes, it's been it's been a crazy couple of months, about four months or so, with moving and all the changes and everything that's happening right now. So, and Kiwi's molting. So it's been really rough to get any video content of him for the last little bit. So I figured, hey, you know what? Even if he and um, see if we can get some videos of him today. If I take him to the pet store. Um, break my ring talk, please. Uh, any advice? So not all ring necks will talk, but if you just talk to them on a regular basis all the time, they're eventually gonna. He's like, what? <laughs> pick um, pick some words up. And so I had when I got Kiwi, I had him. I was home every day, so I just talked to him all day while he was out and interacted with them. And he would put his beak on my lips and just kind of listen from there. So whenever he did that, I kind of randomly gave him little treats. What made you decide to get him knowing they live a very long time? How many words does Kiwi know? Uh, I don't know how many words Kiwi knows. I actually haven't sat down and, and, and thought of it. But I would say at least 100, he could say. And he's still learning some right now. Um, excuse me. What are you in? What are you getting into? You being a bad, bad boy. So right now, he says, are you being a bad, 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 bad boy? <laughs> Not just one bad. He's saying really bad. <laughs> so what are you doing? I get distracted. Well, I don't remember what I was talking about now. You distracted. Go over. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want to treat treat? Germany. Oh, hello, hello, Mark. What about Tame? Oh, and thanks for the advice. Because uh, okay, so let him. Don't let him touch it. He won't let me touch his head. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm trying to read it fast, and then it goes away. So <laughs> can't find it. But it's just it takes patience and time. He needs to trust you and use your treats to your advantage. And they don't have a very long attention span, so I will usually um, train them a day in a day, like maybe five minutes, and make fun of it, and then drop it, and so it doesn't get cranky. 
Why do you advise against ringnecks for beginner birds? Well, because the first year they're like a teenager. They're so vicious and cranky. They can just snap out of nowhere and bite you. Um, they are loud and they do scream and they, you know, they're, they're a lot of work. So someone who is the first time that's going to be the first time bird, I don't think that they would, some people would, wouldn't even know that that's part of it because they always see things that are so good on online because I don't normally post things when he's cranky. Sometimes I do, but, um, yeah, I just, I don't think, oh, would you not? <laughs> I don't know how to say your name. Mutana. I don't know, but hi, Mohammed. Let's see. Does he eat corn? He does. I don't typically give him corn, though. What's the weather like in Nova Scotia? Well, Lucy, it is humid and blah. There's no sun. It's really cloudy. Me and my husband... Oh, oh no. I'm going to lose it. Laugh at the, oh, no. Sorry, guys. Okay, so me and my husband... Oh, I left... Laugh, watch the videos. Have a nice day, Trank. You thank you. Uh, do you find that for beginner birds, um, a lot of them, like cockatiels or budgie birds, are really good um, ones to start start with. They're not as loud. Do you want a treat, treat? Come here. He's getting into stuff he shouldn't be. Has he learned any new words recently? So the biggest one that he's saying now that's somewhat newer is, are you being a bad, 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 bad boy? Um, and he has another word that he's saying, but I'm just not quite, he hasn't picked it up or um, he hasn't mastered it yet. So I'm not quite sure what it's saying. Come here. Come on. Treat, treat, treat. Good boy, Kiwi. What's this? What is it? Have a kiss. Have a kiss. Mwah. Oh, that's so sweet. He's trying to say hi to everyone. He is. There you go. Say hi, everyone. Hello. Great job, Kiwi. Oh. So one thing that I did teach him was every time he gets a treat or any food, he has to go to his cage. Um, so that's what I started with him. So I did that by every time I gave him something, I'd walk him over, put him on his cage, and then gave him that treat or that food. And then every time if he was on me, I would always tell him, go to your cage, go to your cage. And eventually he just goes to his cage so he can make a mess on his cage and not on me or on the floor. Kiwi's just getting into everything. He's over there um, trying to tear apart uh, crayons. Does he still hate the color pink? Lucy, he sure does. So what I have, um, I'm at my mom's, so I have a pink yoga mat that I cut up little strips and I put it on anything that I think he's going to try to get into that's dangerous or that could harm him, anything like that, so he won't go near it. <laughs> Gamer block t blocks TV. Hello, hello. They are allowed fruit, absolutely. So he loves his fruit. Um, the only thing that I don't, uh, things that are toxic to them are like onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, avocados, just things like, like that, um, that I wouldn't give them. Do you watch other bird creators and which ones? Um, I do, I've watched a couple of them and Hamlet. I think he's really cute. He doesn't really have a favorite song, Katie. He hasn't picked up any songs or, you know, sang along with any of it or got excited about any of them. But I do listen to a lot of country music, so. Hello? Excuse me? Mm-mm. Come here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, over here. You gotta get out of it. Come on. Keep it walking. He is three years old. He turned three. And How long does Kiwi take to fully mold? Uh, so he kind of started a little bit in May. Acting a little different. Uh, then it's usually about.
few months. So he started really losing it in June, but this month he's got almost all of them out and growing the new ones. You have a cockatiel. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's glitchy again. Sorry, guys. I'm breaking up. <gasps> he just fell on the floor. <laughs> Good thing you can fly. Come here. What is it? Come here. Come here. Sit back. Sit back. Oh, winky, wink. Say hi, everyone. Oh, he's on it. Good boy, Kiwi. Look at that's your feather. What happened to it? Yeah. <laughs> is it still breaking up? If it still is, oh, I think I'm frozen. I just, my computer froze, guys, sorry. I got Kiwi from a private breeder in Ontario. Sun Alley. Oh, thanks, guys. Thank you guys all for subscribing and following and interacting on the live. It's great. He's just not now, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Shall we celebrate his birthday? <laughs> yeah, his birthday was in April. Um, I just I took him away to one of those little dome yurts and I'm going back again so that we me and him can do a camping getaway together. There we go. Oh someone just placed an order for a kiwi. Let's see. Ooh, for an epoxy with his feather in it. Let's see. Paul. Oh. Thanks, Paul, from the United Kingdom. Ooh, that's awesome. Thank you. You have two cockatiels. Ooh. OMG, I just found out you're doing a live video. I got so excited. I love you and Kiwi so much. Oh, thanks, Amanda. Is Kiwi my best friend? Yeah, he's pretty awesome. My bird's over here throwing everything on my desk. <laughs> and this one's just over here um, licking his feather. Hi, Snow179. Likes. That's awesome. Those are great. Yeah, so I didn't really have any anything, but... um. So what I'll probably do is oh, anything, but um, yeah. So what I'll probably do is oh, let's see here. So I'll probably head out. I'm going to take him to get some toys. I think I'm gonna take him out. Do I go get some new toys? Do I get some new toys? You got two in your travel one. You need to go get you some new toys, don't ya? You come here. You want to... Yeah, I get him baby toys because this is his favorite toy. You want a treat treat? You want a treat treat? You want a treat treat? Do I? I want a treat treat. But do you want a treat treat? Yes. Ooh, what is it? your toy. It's your toy. Who is... Oh, you want to come say hi to everyone? You want to come say hi? Mm. Say hello, everyone. Say hi. Hello. Who is it? Oh, my goodness. You're so cute. <laughs> What's up, baby? Are you cute? Ooh. Give a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right, it seems like no, it's not working for me. I don't know if you guys can see anything. I might have to just head off. It's not working. Are you frozen, chicken? You're not frozen. Let me give you a treat treat. Let me give you a little treat. Yeah, I brought a couple down in a Ziploc bag. 
<laughs> so I take the almonds. If I'm doing a lot of training with them, I'll crunch the almonds up and just give them a little tiny piece so that I can give them more for training the insulin. It's not so bad for them. Can't give them too much. Kiwi's never gotten sick, no. Your ring hack is obsessed with Kiwi. That's so sweet. Love you both. Thanks for the smiles you bring. Thank you. <laughs> Kiwi had his wings a little bit clipped, um, just enough that it would be harder for him to fly, but more so like gliding. Um, when I first got him at two months old. Um, but after that, no, we let him fly and, um, just, yeah, keep him the way he sh he's supposed to be. But if he, the fact that is I do, come here, I have and do free fly come back if he did. I love you. You need to go, babes. Need to go, baby. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? I'll head off if I'm freezing a lot and stuff, and I'll figure out how I can, uh, let's just say full, um, full Wi-Fi. They said that it's freezing for some people, which really sucks, doesn't it? Hmm? Kiwi is always hungry. All right. Well, why don't we go and uh, go to the pet store and buy more treats and more toys? What do you think? <coughs> yeah. Maybe we'll show everyone our adventure. What do you think? Hey, oh, I know. Hey, it won't let me end. <laughs> <laughs> I think my computer's frozen. Come on. Hey, come on, Kiwi. I so. It won't let us end. Oh, dear. <laughs>